So this is the uh, the letters. If I put it in a large mode, you're not going to see uh, details on a small button like this. So I'm going to scan in the medium mode. Uh, I start to wiggling. You can see that. That means it cannot track. Maybe I should put a spray in here. Let's uh, powder it. Okay. Uh, let's try automatic exposure. See, after using the spray, I can use automatic exposure. Yeah, it's tracked uh, better after applying the spray. Can capture more surface. So it's quite flat and featureless. Okay, let's move to the side here. Yeah. You can track but if I continue to move it will lose the track okay uh, this is it for the adapter in for it okay this is the Samoon S1 let's try if the tracking is better than the laptop's infrared mode medium geometry tracking uh, automatic exposure is not capture much you need to use the manual exposure and you can see from the preview screen that it sees a lot of data But for this control panel, featureless and flat, it's tracked very well. Yeah, 30 FPS. Uh, let me go down here. Okay. Yeah, the S1 tracks better than the laptop. Okay, this is the the other. I will scan using the medium mode as well. I will use um, manual exposure. The other in the medium mode, it has a smaller uh, capture range. So that's a disadvantage. It might not be able to scan this console in the medium mode uh, because the, the capture range is too small. not the tracking is bad but the the size of the capture lane is it's um it's too small for scanning a car interior without a marker so for the other you you need to uh, place your marker on i've tried to scan uh, on its sides but uh, you see here it's not tracking well. Okay, let's move to the other light. Okay, this is the other light. I will scan this in the medium mode. Okay, so in the medium mode, you can see that the capture range of the other light is larger. I think S1 is better. Right now, the S1 is, is, is the best tracker for the markerless. Yeah, it 
it cannot compete uh, with the S1 track better than the Opel because of the larger FOV and that's it but the tracking performance is, is not comparable uh, to the S1 okay so I place the markers here about 12 markers okay, I have a 40 frame per second this is fast uh, this is the new version of the Kiradi Scan 1.3.7 I'm running uh, my laptop on the batteries usually I will get about 19 frames per second on the cross line but this time after the software update I get full speed 40 frames per second okay let's see how much time you actually need to remove the marker Okay, so I have a uh, five scans compare from the Laptop X, S1, Otter, and Otter Lite in the infrared mode, and also the S1 in the cross line mode. So I will um, do a batch processing on the Fusion, and I will use a 0.3 millimeter for the resolution, and leave the noise removal at the default value. Okay, the fusion is done. This is from the Laptop X Infrared S1. Otter, Otter lost the track. You can see from here. Otter Light. Uh, Otter Light. Uh, it's a lot of noise. Even though I use a spray, cross line laser from the S1. Uh, let's take a look in the render scene uh, ray tracing. The S1 in the cross line laser mode gives the best result, there's no doubt about that. And if I compare it to the infrared, you can see that it's quite uh, different between the two. Uh, they are both fused with the 0.3 millimeter uh, resolution but um, the infrared one uh, gives less sharpness and the detail also uh, much lower than the uh, cross line laser so you need to uh, consider uh, the time you spend on putting the markers on and the quality that you get from the infrared and from this test I found that the S1 infrared uh, tracks uh, the best in the medium mode uh, better than the laptops the other and the other light and if I move to the laptop in IR, uh, the laptop can track this as well, but the uh, uh, the tracking performance is not as good as the S1. You can see in the preview windows, the Laptor X uh, can capture less of the surface data than the S1. The scanning quality, I would say the Laptor infrared will give higher resolution and sharper detail. You can look at here, but if you consider the tracking performance, uh, the S1 is tracks bare. But it doesn't give the best result. The author has a smaller capture range. It cannot track the object about its size as well as the other. But if you look at the detail of the scan, it gives a highest resolution. You can't even see uh, the letters here but you can't see it with the other scanner. So you probably uh, need to use the marker to scan this uh, with the other. Okay, let's move to the other light. The resolution from the other light is not as good as the laptop or the S1 in the infrared. And it's, uh, for some reason, it gave a very rough surface. So the uh, geometry tracking can give you a higher precision alert as much as uh, 0.3 millimeter. Uh, and for the uh, laser scanning with the marker, the precision alert is much lower, uh, about 50 microns. So if you want to do uh, a part fitting, I would recommend that you still uh, stick with the 
with the marker scanning uh, because without the marker uh, you never know how much your scan is drift it could be 0 0.3 it could be 0 0.5 it depends on the shape of the object that you are scanning some uh, some laser uh, scanner other brands they have a, a markerless scanning feature with their uh, laser mode but uh, i have seen the result come out from that scanner is even worse than uh, the infrared scanning okay uh thanks you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video